and they hurt you. <laughs> what would I give my dad for Christmas? Contest chair, judges, toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Do you have a special senior in your life? Do you find it hard to give your special senior an original gift? <laughs> I have an original gift idea for you. Give the gift of your time to help your senior write an autobiography. Give the gift of your time to help your senior write an autobiography. I gave this gift recently with surprising results. It was December 2006. My dad had every material thing he wanted. But his 92-year-old body was frail. His once brisk walk was now a slow shuffle. His once erect posture was now bent. His once bright eyes were now tired. <coughs> Every night he had a pee, went to bed, and fell asleep. But not always in that order. <laughs> The gift I gave Dad that Christmas was a pledge, a pledge of my time to help him write his autobiography. Little did I know the consequences of that gift. Our game plan was to chronicle Dad's life's milestones. Initially, he struggled with names and dates and faces and places. I tickled his mind with questions. He began to recall graphic details. Graphic details about his boyhood in a small town in rural Northern Ireland from 1914 to 1929. He recalled lusty details about his life and loves <laughs> as an eligible bachelor in Belfast during the Great Depression. He recalled romantic details about meeting, courting, and marrying my mother during the Second World War. He recalled poignant details about holding his newborn daughter in 1948 and son, me, in 1951. With these and many, many more milestones, Dad and I built an inventory, an inventory of his milestones. And as this inventory grew, so too did Dad's realizations. He realized that his achievements defined a rich, a full, and a successful life. He realized that his contributions were the hallmarks of a good, good man. He realized that his legacy was huge. And with these realizations, Dad's self-confidence returned. His self-image rallied. He even began <laughs> My big win was that the level of intimacy with Dad shot to the moon. I'll never forget our first time. It began when a sad memory caused Dad to weep. Instinctively, I put my arms around his shoulders. Instinctively, he froze, <laughs> like good British men are supposed to do. 
Then, ever so slowly, his arms rose, and rose, and rose. And then, we were doing it. <laughs> yes! We were hugging! Yeah. Fellow Toastmasters, remember, it takes time to recall, to research, and to write an autobiography. And time might not be on the side of your senior. So please, please, start giving this amazing gift soon. Today, right now, before it's too late. You see, Dad died almost exactly one year ago. And when he died, his autobiography was not finished. We started it just a little too late. Don't wait! Don't wait. Don't wait. On this chair.